It is the day of last game of the season. Last, last, last game of the season, no matter what. Washington Huskies taking on the Ohio State Buckeyes in the Rose Bowl. First time in 20 years, I think, that we've been in the Rose Bowl, which I think is kind of a weird thing to really talk about, given that, you know, we've been in a game that is bigger than the Rose Bowl two years ago, but, you know, people got to talk about something. So they did. And it's a pretty big deal to be in this game. It's a big deal to be the nine, number nine team in the nation. Had a good year going to take on Ohio State. Um, I'm excited to see the guys one last time. Obviously, some guys are not going to be here next year. Browning and Gaskin, one of the best quarterbacks and probably the best running back in Washington school history. So I'm excited for that. And win, lose, or whatever, it is going to be the last game. So I'm going to take that in for sure because, uh, you know, Jake Locker was my quarterback when I was actually going to the college. Uh, Keith Price was a guy that I closely associated with because I was watching the Huskies very closely when he was here. But Browning has been a four-year starter. I think he's missed maybe one game his freshman year due to injury. So um he's always going to be a quarterback that I associate with my era with my time of rooting for the Washington Huskies and Gaskin obviously is just incredible you know one of the greatest apple cup performers of all time just just really cool stuff so that out of the way we are playing the Ohio State Buckeyes a team with a great offense they got two good running backs they got a great quarterback they got some good wide receivers they're putting up, I think, over 51 points a game. You know, they've dropped almost 80 once or twice this year, I think. So we have a real challenge in front of us. And I'll be straight up, it might be more than we can handle because this Ohio State Buckeyes team is, you know, they are bitter that they are not in the playoff. They are, you know, they finished number six because they got blown out by Purdue but if you look at every other game they played this year they look like an play they look like a playoff team they beat Penn State they beat TCU they blew out Michigan State they blew out Michigan they blew out Northwestern all these teams were ranked at the time that they played them everything else about the Ohio State Buckeyes to me says playoff team and then they randomly get kind of waxed by Purdue I don't know how to explain that but when you compare what they've done this year, because they also have a pretty good defense. They're giving up 25 a game. It's not the best defense in the country, but it is a good defense given how much their offense scores. Straight up, it's going to be tough to get this one done. Um, I think our defense is good enough to keep us in this game. Our defense has not really let me down very much this season. Um, they, they've given up points, they've given up scores, they've, um, helped us lose one or two games, maybe, but I think they've played pretty well throughout the season, and I have faith that our defense is good enough to hold the Buckeyes in check just enough for us to make this a game and give us a chance to win near the end, but I need something on this offense other than the rushing attack to show up, because... I don't think a one-dimensional attack on offense is going to put up enough points to win this game. If we have Gaskin and we have, uh, you know, just the running game in general, but obviously mostly Gaskin, if that is humming, great. But I need to see something from this passing attack. I really do. And this whole year, our passing attack has not been special at all. We've been at our best when we get to take our passing attack out of the game almost entirely, and Browning throws for like 120 yards. So I don't think that formula is going to work today because Ohio State, they had a better season than us. Right now they look like a better team than us. We were able to squeak away with the Pac-12 because of the way things played out in the matchups. But, you know, we lost three games this year and somehow we ended up number nine uh, in the country. To me, we are probably lucky to have that number nine ranking and Ohio State probably feels a little unlucky to have their number six ranking so it's going to be tough and I need the passing attack to be a little special today 
And the only guy on this team that I see being able to facilitate that is Hunter Bryant. Because he hasn't been with us most of the year. He missed most of the season. He's come back. We've seen him be a little special since he got back. He is a clearly very talented tight end, but he's the one guy who can take us over the top. I know what Baselli is. I mean, Baselli's a good receiver. Fuller is a good receiver. Ty Jones is a you know fun guy to throw the ball around the goal line to, but we need somebody who can just take over a game receiving because I don't think a one-dimensional attack is going to do enough. And that guy is Hunter Bryant, or I don't think it's really anybody else. So that's my take on today's game. It's going to be tough. I don't know if we can win, but I'm going to have fun watching this game. Whatever happens, I trust our defense to play well enough to keep this competitive. But it's going to be the offense to, on the offense to actually win. All right, uh, short video because, um, you know, frankly, I haven't watched a ton of Ohio State games. I don't know a ton about them beyond what's obvious. I know they have a quarterback who could go in the top five of the draft. I know they have a great offense. I know they have a pretty good defense. And I know that we have our work cut out for us. So uh, let's go get this. Uh, bow down to Washington. Excited for today. See y'all in like five or six hours where we'll, we'll talk about whatever happened. All right. Peace out.